called Beagle Bay. It's about 127 k's um, up the peninsula. Where you have a lot of family um, outbursts because fam the parents can't get over their own issues. How they expect the kids to get over their issues as they grow up because families are divided, which they shouldn't be. Because everyone in this community are all equal and they should be. And everyone's all related to each other. So I don't know where there is a big conflict in, in a group like this because Beagle Bay was never like that before. I used to get up early in the morning when I was growing up. My grandfather used to work at the powerhouse as well as the bakery. And we used to meet him five o'clock in the morning, baking bread, early hours in the morning. We still had to attend to school. And everyone was already woke, woke up in the thing, in the community. All family members, everyone, even the workplace. The people were already situated at the garage by six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning, you know, doing their things, what they had to do. We had the butcher shop. We had everything then when we were growing up. Today, now, we have no, none of those things provided for us. We have to go out and do those things on our own now, which is so sad because then the family are feeding for themselves, which is, should be feeding for the whole community. And that's where the big breakup is. The people should think about how they used to be brought up in regards to being one family. That's why we are called a community. Community. That's the whole breakage. You break it up, it means uni unity, unity. That's what it's all about. That's the whole purpose of being called a community. But that's what the people need to get back and get to understand that purpose and why we're here today. Everybody would be down where the water went, where the water was running, and that was our part time. We made our own fun back then. Every today you have games and stuff. We didn't have that. We had to make our own games with the stuff we had. What's your main concern for the future? Not, no focus on young people. Nobody speaking up in terms of the future, which is our young ones. I believe if we don't give them the tools in order to live life now, they're never going to know for themselves. And us being an older generation should make way for younger ones. And um, that's one thing I don't want to hand over to my kids. I don't want to hand over a country that is going to be controlled by commercialism and capitalism. I want it to be called, controlled by culturalism. Yes. <laughs> I look about, that you know how you see the community, it's, it's spread now. Before we were just closed in and it's, it's like, you know, we're closed in and it's been really
by preserving this sort of land, it might come in handy one day. Because we think we can go to Mars, but we can't. <laughs> this is the only place we're supposed to be, and we need to look after it. <laughs>